So now we are going to move into feints. So why are feints important? For me, I can gauge a lot from feints. How my opponent is going to react, what, they, what their ha bad habits are, what their good habits are. If I pretend to throw a punch, are they going to drop their hands? If I stomp my foot, are they going to do something different, which I'm not used to? So we can gauge a lot. So one thing that we can do is hand feints. Moving our front hand around from side to side, up, down, and seeing how they react to that, where their hands go, or just, just how they react. So if I had my right hand here, and the bell was gone, first round, me and Pond came out, and I want to see how Pond's reaction. So I'm moving up and down, my hand's moving. I can see if I put my hand up, where does, what's he going to do? Okay, he drops his weight. That's uh, a common thing that he does. I've taken note of that. So here, up and down, side to side, maybe putting my hand out and just seeing generally what his reactions are and what I can try and get from that. If I can land counter shots, if I can set anything up. And that's for me is how I like to feint with my, with my lead hand. So now I'm gonna use feints to get a reaction from my opponent. So how I can do that is by pretty much pretending to throw a punch. So I can pretend to throw a punch and see a reaction that I get. So I might, pretend to throw a jab, and the left hand drops. I know that the left hand has dropped now, so I can bomb a right hand over the top, or the mom might have a bad habit of bringing his rear hand forward when I feint. So if I feint the jab, his rear hand is now out, and I can bring it, my hook around to the chin. And there's a few other things that I can do. So if I know when I feint, he brings his hands up nice and high, so if I feint and he's there, I can then level change and drive into the body. I can use the other hand as well. So I don't have to use this one. If we're here and I kind of bring my hand up, I can then come to the body. Or if we're here, I can just drive my right hand straight through, well, here and straight through the middle. Many reactions you can get, everyone reacts differently, but it's more seeing your opponent's bad habits. So changing it up, changing your levels, putting your hand out there and seeing what reaction you get from your partner or your opponent. The last one we're gonna go over is stomps. So sometimes I don't like to use my hands to feint, I actually like to stop my foot. And I'd only use this at the start of the fight, see what my opponent does and what, how I can gauge his reactions. So bell's gone, ding ding, I've came out and I don't want to risk using my hand because if I, my, I throw a feint and Pamon's very fast, he can counter me. So I don't put myself at risk, all I'm going to do is stop my foot. And there we go, I've got a reaction. He's changed levels, he might have dropped his hand. So, leave myself nice and tight, elbows are in, stomping my foot and seeing what reaction I get. Might drop the hands, he might change levels, and then I know there I have things that I can set up. He dropped his hand, there's a counter shot. He's changed levels, I might be able to go to the body. There's lots of things that you can do with the stomp, and then you can build from there with hand feints and set up your opponent. So, use this in your shadow boxing, use this in the bag work. Good luck, and that is fainting.